Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are a returning viewer. For today's video, I thought I would do a video that's been requested a few times and that is if I can provide an update regarding how my kids transition from being a homeschool um, family like all our lives to starting in mainstream school this year. So I thought I would come on here and share that with you guys. Um, because yeah, you know, you see a lot of videos I feel like about families transitioning from mainstream school or like private schools and whatever to homeschool. And so I thought I would bring you kind of an alternative opposite video in case you guys are considering sending your kids to school in September or maybe you're just interested and there's not a whole lot of videos like this so I thought I would share um let's get into it so I thought I would start by sharing a little bit of our homeschool background um so growing up I was actually homeschooled a few times and I also had gone to Catholic schools and I've also gone to public schools and so I've had quite a different experience um, with each of those things. Um, but whenever I had children, I never really planned to homeschool, but I kind of just fell into it. Um, I had become a Christian when I had my daughter. Um, she was a few months old. I had become a Christian. So um, with that being said, I kind of fell into a lot of this thinking that I needed to homeschool and it was something that I had to do as um, just as a Christian. I felt like it was something I had to do, you know. Um, there's a lot of things in the mainstream school system that are obviously very questionable and I just want to say, based on my experience, um, there can be a little bit of over um, dramatization I think of these things and sometimes it can be a lot of fear mongering you might see someone's experience in the public school system and things their kids were taught and it's very easy to generalize and say all schools are like this all schools are teaching certain things you know um, all schools have teachers like this and I just want to say I've come to realize that could not be farther from the truth. There are, um, every school runs differently. You know, there's some things that all of them do. And I'm going to get actually a little bit more into that later on. I do want to talk in this video a little bit about things like sex education and how my perspective on that has actually evolved as well. So I think I just want to quickly mention that because that is a very big concern for many Christian parents especially, and even just parents who, you know, have a he healthy level of concern, um, which I think in some senses is actually very valid. But also, like I said, I am going to touch on that a little bit later. So, um, like I said, when my kids became a certain age, um, like school age here in Ontario, you don't really need to like register them for homeschool you kind of just don't register them in the school system and that is sufficient you just keep your children home unless you are pulling your children out of school to homeschool then you do have to write what is called a letter of intent I didn't have to do that and so we just basically when my kids turned five years old when my oldest turned five we started our homeschool journey which was very wonderful and had a lot of ups and downs but for the most part was a very wonderful experience and I'm still, in my opinion, a homeschool mom at heart. Sorry, my cat is like leaning on me. Please go over there. Um, but yeah, so we started our homeschool journey and we homeschooled until this year where she entered fourth grade. Um, this, Octo this past October, she entered fourth grade and um, my two older children have been in school for this whole year. So that's kind of our background. Um, I wanted to say, in terms of why I stopped homeschooling, personally, I just found it a big responsibility. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It was a big responsibility. It's a lot of extra work, and anyone who tells you it's not is literally lying to you because 
it's a lot. It's a lot of work. You are now not only primarily responsible for your home and being a mother and all of that that comes with that, but then you also have this responsibility to teach them math and literacy and all of the things, which can be very rewarding. I just want to say that, but it's a lot. It is a lot and it takes a very special person, I think, to be able to do it. Um, personally, I didn't find the younger grades overly challenging. I'm the one who taught my kids to read, which in itself is a blessing. And I want to say my kids are now ahead of their peers in reading. So that is something that is a memory that's very dear to me and something I can look back on and say, I taught my kids that. Um, so that part was really good. I do have to say that um, when I sent my kids to school, and I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, guys, I don't really have a script. I'm kind of just talking at the top of my head. But um, my biggest concern was if my kids would be behind. And um, that could be further from the truth. My kids were actually ahead of their peers in pretty much every subject, except for French, because we personally did not study French. And in their school, it is mandatory that they have a French class starting in fourth or third or fourth grade and so that is really the only area where my oldest so far has had a little bit of struggle but nothing major so they've been ahead in all of their subjects so I did want to say that when we transition them to main, uh, mainstream school they are ahead and it's they're still doing very well which is a blessing um, in their class they are actually top of their class they are considered role models which again definitely makes me proud as a homeschool mom because I do feel like I can give homeschool credit for that because of all of that one-on-one -on -one time teaching them um, but I want to say school actually has its own benefits and blessings and it's not just free daycare I just want to put that out there um, which I, I honestly say that in sarcasm because I know sometimes school can be viewed like that like it's a free daycare um, but actually there are a lot of benefits that I did not consider and I want to talk about those as well so the benefits I found is obviously the socialization and I know don't come for me of course if your kids are homeschooled they could still have loads of socialization but depending where you live is going to impact that and here there are homeschoolers but in my opinion there was we just personally could not find our village our community which was important to me and my mainly it was important to my kids they just wanted friendships with kids you know their own age and so that is one thing where homeschool did not necessarily meet our needs we did try our best with the relationships that we have um but there was definitely a lack in terms of socialization so that was an issue for us and again i'm not saying your kids are going to be unsocialized if you homeschool you just have to put in more effort than you would otherwise have to and personally i did not want to be um the chaperone of my children's friendships I know in some Christian circles, you know, or like in with us as Christian parents, sometimes you can want to be the one who's chaperoning your children's friendships. But I want to say, I think it's good for children to associate with children of different belief systems because I feel like it offers the ability to challenge what they've been taught from us as parents. And that's not a bad thing at the end of the day. Your children are going to grow up and think for themselves. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing for them to be friends with someone who may believe different things and not just about God, but in general, I think it's important to be exposed to different um, perspectives. I actually think it is good for personal growth. So I personally um, am really glad that I no longer have to be the one chaperoning. Of course, there have been incidents I want to say this when my kids have been in school there's been incidents where you know they've dealt with bullies they've dealt with um kind of bad uh how do i say bad influences and what i can say is those op those have actually provided opportunities for conversations where i otherwise did not have that opportunity so it's actually been a blessing um, it's helped, especially my oldest, but also my middle daughter, it's helped them both to be able to deal with those situations 
in a practical sense um, compared to just in theory. Um, so that's been really good. And actually, it's really shown me that I think the principles that they were taught from a young age have been truly instilled in them because I do see the way in which they react to certain situations. Um, but I actually, like I said, obviously, you know, we don't want our kids to be like influenced by other kids that, you know, maybe not doing what they should be. But at the same time, it is a good learning opportunity. And regardless if your kids are in school or homeschool, they are going to have to face um, certain like temptations and they are going to have to be able to respond um, to those things. And so I actually think it's not been entirely a bad thing, even though, you know, I've heard, there's been a few times where I've heard some things that have made me cringe a little bit. You know, I'm not going to lie. There's, it's to be expected because they're going in an environment where obviously people parent in different ways and their kids, you know, they get their kids act in different ways. It just is what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's been kind of a double edged sword. It's been both something I kind of hate, but also something that I feel like is part of life and a good learning opportunity. So, um, okay. The one thing I really want to talk about is like the sex education. Cause this is something that I feel like is like the shocker of all shocks to parents regarding the school system. Like, Oh, my kids are learning sex ed. Um, okay. Again, this is something that I both don't like, but also understand. And I want to just kind of talk about that a little bit. So I used to be very wary of what they may be taught in terms of that. And I still kind of am, I'm not going to lie, but I will say my kids go to like a faith-based school. So I don't know if that maybe makes a little bit of a difference because I know that there's certain things that they're not talking about because I have personally gone to the director of curriculum and asked them and they were more than happy to answer my questions. But I want to say my kids are not in a public school. And so when I was actually looking at schools, I had an experience where I did ask the public school um, director of curriculum what they were teaching in regards to this and they were actually really offended that I even asked that like they were so put off which put me off and that's why my kids don't go there um, but with this school they actually called me back twice they were more than happy to answer my questions and I want to kind of share where I stand on this um, even though this video this could be a whole separate video but I want to say guys it's kind of important in a sense that your kids do learn sex education okay um, and I'm going to just kind of look at this from the school's perspective. There are kids in this school who are never going to have a conversation outside of the classroom about certain things like sex, where to buy condoms, which they're not talking about that in my kids' young grades, but you know, later on they probably will. Um, maybe not at their school, but maybe once they enter high school, if they do go, that might be something. And this is kind of like not entirely on topic, but something I do want to touch on. Some of these kids will never hear a conversation about sex outside of the classroom. And I think it's valuable for them to be able to know what it is and also know what their options are. Like obviously from a faith perspective, yeah, you may not want your child to go like have sex outside of marriage and stuff um, or, you know, dabble in all of that. But at the same time, it is better that kids understand because... Um, there's actually a lot of really bad Christian resources about sex education. And I want to say this, if you're a Christian homeschool parent, please do not leave this conversation up in the air. You need to talk about this. You need to explain what it is. You need not, and not just God makes babies this way. Like we really have to talk about this, whether our kids are in school or homeschooled, because I've kind of found that personally, I've actually met a lot of people from the faith community who honestly have a lack of understanding in terms of sex education and this is not me saying this to be mean I'm even speaking for myself I feel like I even though I went to school and actually had these conversations I still feel like I did not have proper conversations with my parents and I think it's very important for us as parents to address this and whether your kid goes to mainstream school or homeschool I just really want to encourage you to have conversations about it because it's not something that you just want to leave up to chance and them just 
go into the world and figure it out. You don't want that. And so you do have to understand from the school's perspective that they do probably feel a very big sense of responsibility to teach about this because these kids might never have another conversation. So I'm personally not against them talking about things. Um, in my kids school, I don't know like the details of what they're like talking about entirely. Um, I do know they're not talking about um, like how to have, you know, certain sex, whatever. They're not talking about that, but they do talk about things like families and they do talk about the things like there are different families in this world, which guys, we have to be real, there are. Um, so that's also just something I wanted to touch on very quickly, very briefly, and just say, I think this is a deeper conversation than just, they shouldn't be teaching that. They shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be touching on that. Um, there are things obviously that are cringeworthy that they talk about in, you know, certain schools that I personally would not be comfortable with my children hearing from someone other than me, but I kind of understand where they're sitting at, you know what I mean? I just think it's really important that they get a full conversation about this and I don't entirely um, disagree with sex education. Although I do disagree obviously with certain things that should probably just be left out. Um, but yeah, I've not had any experiences myself that have been too weird. If I did, I would let you guys know. I would let you guys know. If there was anything too weird, my kids wouldn't even be in school. But there's not been anything that's been completely outrageous. So I also want to say um, there are things that I miss about homeschool, like the closeness, the person being able to teach my kids certain subjects, um, all that time to read amazing, rich, living books. I really do miss that. But I will say my daughter, my oldest daughter's teacher, is actually quite incredible in terms of the book selection. I've noticed they actually do read a lot of living books too, which is really amazing. So I'm glad she's still being able to enjoy that. Um, and her love of reading has actually continued. Um, she asked me to buy certain book series and so she's still really reading and enjoying learning, which is a blessing. So yeah, like anything, you know, there are benefits. There are things that I miss about being a homeschool mom. Um, I do feel kind of like an outcast in the Christian community being a non-homeschool mom now, um, which I think honestly could be a video on its own. Um, and it is kind of sad that sometimes we are united in things such as homeschool as Christians when we should be united in our mutual faith in Jesus, even though I'm not saying it's bad to have a homeschool community. Obviously, it's a blessing, but I do want to say that I, I have felt a little bit like an outcast now because a lot of my friends still homeschool. Um, but with that being said, we all have to do what God leads us to do. And I do feel like this was a spirit-led decision as a Christian mom. Um, I did pray about this and... I did pray about this and it was the decision God led me to do, I believe, and I don't have any regrets. Um, but yeah, there's obviously always going to be things I miss about homeschool and I'm always open to homeschooling in the future if that is how God leads. But as of right now, I don't really see that door open at the moment, but maybe in the future it will be. You just never know. But that's kind of um, this kind of concludes my little homeschool to mainstream school update. I would love to do a part two. If you guys have literally any questions, please ask me down below in the comments so that I can answer all those questions. Like I'm totally open to do a Q&A about homeschool to mainstream or even just homeschool or just mainstream school. Any questions you have, let me know in the comments and I will make another video for you. If you are planning on sending your child to school in September, I just want to say, um, pray about it, see how God leads, but do not let fear hinder you from the possible blessing that it could provide, um, but also use your discretion and discernment and don't just send your child to any school. Like I had to do, I had to look at the few schools available to me and choose the best one in my area that I felt could for the most part, align with our 
values, maybe not perfectly, but you know, the better option. I definitely take the time if you're able to, you know, look into your options and see what's available. And if there's only one option and that's what you need to do, I fully believe you can trust God and have faith. Like your kids will be just fine. I promise. Um, most of us went to mainstream school. I went to mainstream school and I have to say, um, I don't think school was like the biggest detriment to my Christian um, values or my morals that my parents tried to instill. I don't think school was actually the determining, you know, factor in anything. Um, I actually have pretty fond memories, especially of like my elementary school years. Maybe high school, honestly, probably is a lot worse. I actually am not too excited about those years and will definitely keep my options open for homeschool if that's a possibility but we're not there yet and i have to focus on today um but yeah if you have any questions i hope you enjoyed this little update and i'll see you in the next one